Hello to you, my wonderful students. Welcome back to Math Radio Lesson. Before we start, I have an important message to share with you. I'm so happy to be speaking with you again today. Isn't learning on the radio fun, my dear students here? Today, I'm going to give you a little quiz. Do you remember what a jam is? Yes. A jam is a living thing that exists everywhere. Some can be good, but the bad ones can make us very sick. Very good. You really are learning. Jams can live anywhere in the world. And when they get into our bodies, our bodies will either fight them or will become sick. Right now, the COVID-19 jam is making many people sick in the world, including our fellow people here in Sierra Leone. I hope you are feeling good and ready to learn more about numbers. Today we'll be reading and writing numbers in different forms. Today we'll do five activities. Our first activity will be a mindful moment to get our brain settled and ready to learn. Our second activity will be a number warm up to practice our counting skills. Our third activity will be a number workout to work on breaking apart numbers. Our fourth activity will be a brain break to rest and reset ourselves. And our fifth activity will be a challenge problem to apply what we've learned. For today's class, you need paper, a pencil, your hundreds bundles, ten sticks, and one counters. It's okay if you don't have all these things. You can still participate in our lesson today. Please gather the materials you need. You will also need to ask someone in your house to be your special partner today. Please ask them to get ready now. Before we get started, a quick health and safety message. Hello again. We have learned so much over the last few times of being together on the radio. I hope you are enjoying everything you are learning. And adults, I hope you are still listening with your students. Adults should learn from the radio too. It is all of our responsibility to keep each other healthy. Students, what is the name of the illness that is spreading across the world right now? It is called coronavirus or COVID-19. You can get this sickness by not washing your hands and by being too close to someone who has the jam inside of them. Exactly! This sickness is in our country too. So we all need to be very careful. That means right now, we can't go to school or to church or mosque because we should not be close to people right now. When someone has the jam, they can give it to other people easily. When we stay at home, we are helping to protect ourselves. You can be a hero during this fight against the coronavirus. Mrs. Sisse, I remember the lesson about a child's right to be protected from harmful labor. Last time, we spoke about children not being allowed to work in gold mines or other difficult and dangerous jobs. What other jobs can children not do? Great question, Shola. There are so many jobs that children should not be doing. Children should not be selling in the streets. Children should not be serving in the army and should not be sold for any kind of labor, including prostitution. All of these kinds of work are harmful for children and are against the law. If children do these things, they can be harmed in many ways, including missing out on their education. 
we as adults have a duty to protect children from harmful labor. It is our right to be protected from harmful labor. Exactly, Peter. It is your right to be protected from harmful labor. And it is the duty of adults to protect you. It is time for a mindful moment to slow down, calm our minds, and to get ready to learn. Today, we will do a sound focus exercise. Are you ready? First, I want you to sit up straight, relax your shoulders, and close your eyes. We are going to take one deep breath together to start. I want, I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's do it together. Great. I am now going to make a sound. And I want you to listen to the sound for as long as you can. Focus on the sound while you breathe. When you cannot hear the sound any longer, slowly, gently open your eyes. Let's do this one one more time. I want you to listen to the sound for as long as you can hear it. Just focus on the sound while you breathe. I hope you feel calmer and ready to learn. Let's begin our number warm up. We'll warm up our bodies and brains with an activity called count and move. Did you know that moving your body can help improve your memory? We are going to do a number of movements. And as we do, we'll practice skip counting. Let's start with skip counting at twos, all the way to 20. I'll go first. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, your turn. As you count, run in place. Ready, go. Two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Great job. Let's do twos again. This time, do a squat each time you count. Ready? Go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20. Excellent. We do twos one more time. This time, hop in a place. Ready? Go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Wow. You did such a great job counting twos. Let's try fives now. Counting from 5 all the way to 50. I'll go first. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, your turn. Our next exercise is elbow to knee. As you count, touch your elbow to your opposite knee each time. For example, start by standing on your right foot and bringing your left knee up to meet your right elbow. Switch side when you count the next number. Ready? Go! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35 40 45 50 nice work now we are going to do our fives again with popcorn pops for each count start with your hands on your bent knees then jump up and stretch out your arms and legs in the air get ready go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 okay let's do fives one last time our final exercise will be a plank get into a push-up position with your belly off the floor and your hips lined up with your back hold there you ready go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 Whew. you're so strong with your body and your mind if you work it out and practice, it will only get stronger. Let's move on to our number workout. Okay, now that our bodies and brain are all warm up, let's start our number workout. Represent the number 26 using tens and ones three different ways. If you have ten sticks and one counters, you can use those. If you don't have enough, you can draw pictures of ten sticks and one dots on your paper. Explain your work to your partner when you are finished. You ready? Go! Okay, let's share how you solve. I made 26 using all ones. I drew 26 ones dots on my paper. 26 ones equals 26. Listeners, what number does 26 ones make? I did something a little differently. I drew two ten sticks and six one dots. Two tens and six one equals 26. Listeners, what number does two tens and six ones make? Okay, we made the numbers 26 with 26 ones and with two tens and six ones. There is another way. Listeners, discuss with your partner what that third way might be. Any ideas? I have an idea. I was looking at the two tens and six ones and was thinking maybe we could extend one of the tens for ten ones. That will leave us with one ten and sixteen ones. I think that will work because one ten equals ten ones. Listeners, let's try to draw our Shola's idea. If you haven't done so already, draw two ten sticks and six ones dots on your paper. Great! Now let's exchange one tens for ten ones. Cross out one of the tens and draw ten more ones. What are we left with? Does it work? Share your thoughts with your partner. Okay, what are the three ways that we represented 26 with 10s and 1s? We made 26 with 26 ones. We also made it 2 10s and 6 ones. Listener, what is the third way? Great job. The third way is 1 10 and 16 ones. Okay, students, let's try another one represent the number 317 using only two hundreds if you have enough hundreds bundles 
10 sticks and one counters, you can use those. If you don't have, that's okay. You can draw squares for hundreds, sticks for tens, and dots for ones. Work with your partner to figure it out. You have one minute to solve that. First, I drew 300 squares, 110 sticks, and 7 ones dots. Since I can only use 200, I crossed 100 out to exchange it for 10 tens. Listeners, did you catch that? Draw 300 squares, 1 10 sticks, and 7 ones dots, if you haven't already. Now cross out one of the hundreds to exchange it for 10 tens. Draw 10 more tens. Tell your partner what you have now. That leaves us with 200, 11 tens, and 7 ones. Listen, how did we make 317? Absolutely, 300, 11 tens, and 17 ones make 317. I found another way. Wow, Peter, please share. I made 317 ones. Then I crossed out 100 to exchange it for 10 tenths. That leaves me with 200, 10 tenths, and 17 ones. Listeners, let's check that. Draw 200, 10 tenths, and 17 ones. Okay, let's count up, starting from our hundreds. You ready? Go. 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 301, 302, 303, 304, 305, 306, 307, 308, 309, 310, 311, 312, 313, 314, 315, 316, 317. Wow! So we found two different ways to make 317 with only two hundreds. Solid workout. Okay, let's review what we've learned. What did we learn about how we can represent numbers with hundreds, tens, and ones? We learned that we can represent numbers in different ways using hundreds, tens, and ones. We can make 317 with 200, 11 tens, and 7 ones. And we can make 317 with 200, 10 tens, and 17 ones. Because 10 ones make 10 and 10 tens makes 100. Listeners, share what you've learned with your partner. Oh, we've been working so hard during our number workout. Let's give ourselves a brain break. We are going to play a game called As If. All you need to play in this game is your imagination. Did you remember to bring it? To play this game, I'll say a scenario and you will act as if the scenario is actually happening. You will start acting when I say action and freeze when I say cut. Okay, let's try the first one. When I say action, you paint as if the paintbrush is attached to your head. Remember, when you hear cut, that is your signal to stop painting. This first one is going for you, Shola. You ready? You paint as if the paintbrush is attached to your head. When you hear cut, you stop. 
painting. Ready? Action! Cut! This next one is going for you, Peter. When I say action, walk as if you are walking through chocolate pudding. Ready? Action! Cut! Last one. When I say action, everyone, you swim as if a shark is chasing you. Everyone. You ready? Action! Cut! Okay! Wasn't it nice to move your body for a bit? Now let's apply what we've learned today. Wow, you have done so much great work here today, students. Now, let's apply what we've learned today with skip counting. I'm going to say a series of numbers. And when I say stop, I want you to fill in the missing numbers. I will say out a series of numbers. And when I say stop, I want you to just fill in the missing numbers. You ready? We are ready. Okay, let's go. Two, four, six, eight. What comes next? Ten. That's right, Shola. We are skip counting by twos. So ten is the next number in the sequence. Let's try another one. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Who can tell me what comes next? Use your brain. I know you can. 25. That's right, Peter. We are skip counting by fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 comes next. Great work. Let's try another example. Listen closely as I say the numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, dash. What comes after 40, students? 50. 50 comes next because we, we are skipped counting by 10s. Great job. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The number 50 comes next. All right, students. We have one more example and I know you can do it. 3, 6, 9, 12. Who knows what comes after 12? 15. 15 comes after 12 when we skip count by threes. Yes, that's right. Now let's count all together. Ready? Go. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Well, that's it for our lesson. Great work on skip counting today. First, let's review the assignment from the last lesson. The first sequence was... 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. What three numbers come next? When I looked at 12 to 15, I saw an increase of 3. Then 15 to 18 showed another increase of 3. So the next three numbers after 24 are 27, 30, and 33. The rule is added three each time. That's right. Great job. The second sequence was 25, 30, 35, 40, 30. Who can tell me the next three numbers? I think I can. When I looked at 25 to 30, I saw an increase of 5. Then I looked at 30 to 35 which also showed an increase of 5. So, the next three numbers are 45, 50, and 55. The rule is to add 5 each time. Exactly. Great job explaining your answer. For the next session, here are two problems to think about. Remember, your job is to figure out the rule in the sequence. Ask yourself, how are the numbers changing? 
from one number to the next. Here is your first homework challenge. Write down the numbers two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What are the next three numbers? I'll go over your assignments again. Write down the numbers two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What are the next three numbers? Write down the numbers five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30. What are the next three numbers? The second question is this. You write down these numbers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What are the next three numbers? Great work today. See you during the next session where we will review more skip counting and addition facts. Goodbye.